Well, hello everyone. It's time for today's farm and ranch news. And this past week, the Montana State University Agricultural Experiment Stations held their 2016 planning conference. And reports were given by researchers on the status of research and conditions of Montana's crop and livestock industry. And Darren Boss, the superintendent of the Northern Ag Research Center in Haber, shared options for producers to utilize cover crops in their agricultural operations. Oh, I'm really excited. I mean, Montana has been very nimble in addressing cover crops, and I, I think we talked about four or five different research programs geared at different avenues. Um, for instance, if, if your goal is to integrate cover crops into beef cattle operations, and how how can we make that as extending grazing seasons? Can we use that green green cover crop to put a bloom on calves in the fall? Or can we extend that native range by having a cover crop integration? So I've always been very careful to tell producers to let, don't let policy drive your cash crop or your goals. Set your goals up, sit down with a consultant, an ag extension specialist, um, county agent, and, and then adapt the cover crops to what you need to fill a hole in. It's just like a mineral program. What mineral do I need to address and how do I do that with cover crops? Darren, along with other farmers and ranchers, are very concerned about the moisture across the region. He shares more about what it looks like up on Montana's High Line. That's looking pretty tough. I think if we hadn't had that rain late July, August, we'd be way down for last year's growing season and coming into this winter. So it's, it's not only scary for irrigators because of the snowpack and other things. I think, I think our reservoirs are going to be a problem, our spring growth. Um, and it looks like it's setting up to be a pretty good year for tetany, so I would ask all the beef guys to kind of keep their dyes dialed in on grass tetany right now. And to learn more about MSU's Ag Experiment Stations, visit them at agresearch.montana.edu. We'll have more news after this.